You will need the appropriate soldering jig, metal tweezers, various soldering iron tips, side cutters, soldering wick, isopropanol, lead-free solder, a cleaning brush, and soldering flux. Note the data sheets and security instructions for the soldering equipment and chemicals in use. Always wear protective goggles and gloves while soldering. Place the PWB on the preheater. Continue only when the right temperature has been reached. Use only two soldering irons together to unsolder and remove a component. Any other method can easily destroy the pads. Add some flux to the pads. Always use the right sized tip on the soldering wick when removing the solder. Ensure that the solder is completely removed from the pads. Apply a dab of solder to the pad. Ensure that the heating does not last longer than 3 seconds. Apply another spot of flux. Hold the new component in place with tweezers while heating up the solder joint from the side. Do not move the component until it has cooled. Moving during cooling can cause dry joints that later fail to conduct. Solder the component on the opposite side. Clean the PWB with a brush soaked with isopropanol and follow it with ionized compressed air. Check that all flux residues have been completely removed. Place the engine module on the preheater. Continue only when the right temperature has been reached. Preheat the hot air fan. Heat up all the pads of the component evenly. Use the tweezers to lift the component off. Using any force or prizing can tear off the pads. It must lift freely. Apply some flux to the pads. Lay the soldering wick over the pads and, using the right size tip, melt and completely remove the old solder. Apply solder to one of the pads and a drop of flux. Align the component over the pads and hold it in position with tweezers. Melt the solder of the previously prepared pad to secure the component. You can now apply solder to the remaining solder joints.